Okay, what we got today? Shut up. Is it for Gavin, the bounty? No, it's for Horace Durin. For producing and distributing prohibited alcohol. Okay. Moonshiner, I guess. Lost in camping around Bayou Noir. That's where most people are in the Saint Denis area, right? As much as I really like this outfit, I guess for sort of casual wear, right? Doing dates with Mary and stuff. I'm not quite sure if it's sort of bounty hunter attire, right? Imagine a bounty hunter rocking up looking like a lumberjack, you know? <laughs> so I'm thinking I may have another change of clothes and keep this as maybe like a casual sort of clothing option. I don't know. Like if we was to go do some rustling, horse rustling or something, I, f I feel like this would be a great outfit, especially with the rodeo hat. But maybe I do need something that's a bit more criminal looking, right? This is great for being an incognito street person walking around, but maybe I want to look a bit more threatening. But maybe that's a good thing, right? No one's going to suspect some lumberjack walking up to them to just waste away everyone there. So how many people have we got here? I need the rifle. I can't see. Okay, we got we got two guys standing sort of in a row next to each other. There's quite a few people here. The higher velocity, I believe, are the only bullets that travel through a person. So I would like to try that out. So we just line ourselves up. Come on, I could surely get two people there, right? Come on. No, it didn't, did it? Hmm. Don't lose your head. Which one's the bounty? Okay, not that guy, I don't think. I think it's the one on the left. I think it's that guy, right? Oh, no, I shot him, I think. Oh, no, did I shoot the wrong one? I think I shot the wrong one. Where's this guy going? This, so this guy is not, right? Why are they so passive? They can't see me. I think maybe it's because I'm hiding in the bush, right? I think that actually works. Mission failed. The target was wanted alive. Yeah, I'm sure I shot the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Let's go loot them. Oh! This is, uh... A future camp, right? Is anyone here now? I don't think so. Can we get a cigarette card? Easy. It's like a spooky place, right? That's why nobody's here, I don't think. And it's where we end up moving into this camp at some point. Spoilers, we obviously don't stay at Shady Bill. You know, no shit, like we don't stay at any of the camps. And he did say we was only staying there temporarily, right? There's something I can grab in here, I think. Is it in this jar? Take this little head. I don't know why. What do you do with it? What do you do with that? <laughs> oh, it's legendary fish here as well. Okay, cool. We can catch that. There's also something in this shack, though. I think it's like a special mask. Oh, is it this? Cat skull mask. You'll find a special hat. This hat has been added to your wardrobe and can be stored on your horse. Oh, it's a, ho it's a hat. Fucking terrifying, isn't it? Oh my god. Maybe that's what we can wear to make ourselves look fucking more terrifying, right? With this outfit on. Never mind being so friendly, how do you do? If someone came running at me just like this, I'd be fucking bricking it, mate, right? Okay, but there is a special fish here. Look how big this motherfucking fish is, right? So let's wander up over here, use a special swamp lure, and get this bastard sent into the mouth with the other fish. Let's go catch us some fish. Okay. Hopefully no gators disturb my fishing. Hopefully I don't catch any gators on my rod. Problem is, is I can't see if a fish gets a bite. Something's moving there towards the left. Is that it? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Ah, oh, it wasn't a strong enough bite, shit. Come on, big fish. Okay, I can see it coming. Okay, I need to wait a bit more. Come on. Bigger bites. Take a big old bite. Is that good enough? No, that was... Oh, I needed to... Well, but... I don't feel like that was a bigger bite than the bite I already did it on. There's a bit more lights now. It's handy. I can see it moving again, once again, coming from the left. Come on. Oh, look, sir. Okay. Come on, fish. 
God, it's nearly fucking out of line. Are you kidding me? Oh, I, hate, I hate these fish. That's it. Come on. Is it though? Is it though, Arthur? Well, maybe it is. Maybe it is. It's getting closer. Come on. Yep. Yep. Come on. Come on. Come on. You, you need you there. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Come on. Come on. Come on, you bastard. Come on. Oh, he's oh, he's nearly there. No. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. I've got you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's a big fish. Keep. Has to be sent in the mail. This is forty-one pounds. Can grow up to four to six feet. These fish. Sorry, mate. Only the small, boring fish get let back into the water. <laughs> there, Billy. I have a present for you. Nice. Let's go send this to the professional fisher person. So this is a hat, right? I oh, know it's a mask. Oh, okay, that's really cool. It's not a hat, it's a mask. Oh, where's it gone? Ah. Oh. What's this then? Oh, I have like a, a big ass other mask as well. I didn't realize that. I'd wish it would place the bandana. Okay. Oh, okay. This is cool. Okay. I ain't got to worry about changing my clothes now. I was worrying about being like not ominous enough when we were out doing like um, illegal stuff. I can now just shove that mask on and we all of a sudden look 100% more terrorizing, right? Billy, what are you doing? Keep going. Keep going. Don't stop down for predators, okay? You, you keep going. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Perfect. Perfect solution to, um, I thought my clothes being a bit too nicey-nice. You know, you know, I'm a good boy, right? Nicey-nice is a good thing, but if we ever, like, was to rob up a bank again, right? <laughs> Without that mask, I feel like we just don't look imposing enough. <laughs> but now we do. That's great. I love that. That was not planned at all. I'd never seen that mask before. It's perfect, right? Because now when we go into town and stuff, we just look like a normal geezer, right? We're just like a, a country boy. And then we put the mask on and then all of a sudden we look like we're going to make people shit their pants. It's perfect. Good work, pal. Now look at us. We just look like a normal geezer, right? He's just come and caught the biggest fish in his life, right? I'll be tending to you shortly. Don't look like someone suspicious. What would you like to send? Can I be a service? Well, what do you think I want to send, mate? <laughs> cool. Cool. Oh, ten more of those? Wow. Thanks, mister. I'm concerned that I'm going to end up having, like, loads of things to do at the end of the game. I'm not busting through these missions too quick, am I? But like I said, I will get it all done before the game is completed. Whether that will be mopping it up all at the end or hopefully balanced out as we go is the answer. Of course, it probably doesn't 100% help that I'm adding newer content as well, right, with my mods. So those things take even longer. Which is no problem for me, right, because I'm happy to play this fucking all year, right, you know, until I'm finished. It won't take that long, but you know what I mean. It really is amazing how being able to take my time has completely changed the output of this game. Because even when I changed my playstyle for the second playthrough I did as a low honor, I got to a point where I was just like, I just want to get this done. You know, just busting through missions as quick as I can. Whereas with this, I am i don't feel rushed at all. I love it. And it's the mixture of being able to experience everything in my own pace, play entirely as a good boy, because that's a challenge and fun, right? Because that's hard for me to do. And the mods, which make it like a brand new game just by itself, right? It's brilliant. I do think maybe this would be like the last playthrough I ever do. I don't see how... I could make a fourth way of playing, right? Especially with this one being a more complete playthrough. I wouldn't feel like there's things that I've missed, you know? The only way I think I will ever experience this game again, right, is if I'm getting older. This game has become retro. And I want to replay it like I did for Red Dead Redemption 1, right? I wanted to play through that again because it had been so long, right? It's like 13 years I played it. Well, it's 13 years from now. Probably 12, I guess I played it last year, right? Which is a fucking long time. It's all just new to me. But then I only have played that once, whereas I would have played this three times. 
you know, so <laughs> I don't know. There's many other games right out there to play, not just new ones, but also other favorites of mine that I would play again before this. Mass Effect springs to mind, for example, the Mass Effect trilogy are some of my favorite games. Maybe at one point I'll play them on the channel, that'd be cool. Not played that with mods before either. And there's so many different ways you can play that round. Different genders and um, different play styles with the soldier, adepts and all those different ones. I can't remember what ones I have done with that. I've already done Malshep and Femshep, both Paragon and Renegade. Always end with the destroyer ending because I feel like the others are just pussy endings. <laughs> I hate them. Mass Effect 2 especially is up there for me with Red Dead Redemption 2 amongst my favourite games. I love Mass Effect 3 as well. I got a lot of hate because of the ending, right? But I, pl I mean, I played it before they changed the ending and I still really liked it. The ending, like, it, it wasn't great, right, really, the, ori the original ending. It, it was a lot better since they did the, the changes. But it wasn't enough for me to, like, hate the game because the rest of it is fucking brilliant. Especially with the DLCs added onto it as well. The Citadel DLC is amazing. But again, that came after it. Without a doubt, this game, Red Dead Redemption 2, Arguably my favorite game of me. It's in the same conversation of debate, you know, with like Mass Effect 2. Maybe Witcher 3, but then if I'm saying maybe, then maybe not. I think maybe this has it Witcher 3 beat as well. Oblivion probably is in the same breath. Elder Scrolls Oblivion. That's my favorite Elder Scrolls because for me that was the Elder Scrolls, right? And the first one I played when I was a kid is fucking amazing. So that to me is better than Skyrim, even though Skyrim is fucking amazing as well, right? Just the nostalgia for having played Oblivion makes it better, I think. I would love to play both those games as well with mods. There's so many games that I'd love to play, just don't have the time. It's really quite sad. Even though I have plenty of time, right? But even with the plenty of time, I haven't got the time, if that makes sense. I have more time than most, because I'm um, chronically ill. I can't work a normal life and stuff. This is basically my work. This I mean, the, at this point, I'm self-employed. This gets considered self-employed, even though it earns shit. It's not really enough to work on, but I'm lucky enough to be supported by amazing parents. Otherwise, I have no idea where my health would have led me. Enjoy the show, if that's possible. Hello. It's a free show, so don't come asking for a refund. What's this show, then? Mr. Charles Chatternay. Go and see for yourself, but don't blame me. Okay, so this is the show that Frenchy invited us to. Uh, you should know the artworks I just don't like how much time you're spending with the my man. gallery staff. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. Paintings or otherwise. Come on. You won't have seen the like of it before. I promise. Maybe that's a good thing. Oh, hold on. Let me compose myself. Yeah, I have one of his works. They are a bit risque, I guess, for this time, right? It was like a woman with her breasts out. We'll miss the party. Charles, are you here? Where is he? I guess in this room. I think that it's Greek. I talk to these guys. Or could be Roman. Hello, mister. I don't have any opinions on the artwork, I guess. Just, like, leaving them to talk to themselves. There's Charles at the back. Dear God, woman. That's far too modern for my tastes. Mr. Chardonnay, he's just a terror. It's making me blush. I find the brushwork baffling. What's he trying to represent, aside from a filthy mess? It's a... You know? I'm sorry, I don't know. Well, let's just say I can't say. Not in mixed company. <laughs> Saying this like wanking material? It's art. That's art. There's nothing wrong with that. Like, like, you know, go back into this room, right? These ones are covered up, but, you know, go back to fucking Roman times. They've all got their tits out and their little peckers. It's Italian, most likely. No different. It's art. It's not sexualized. Look at these idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Chatternay. 
Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <laughs> well, that explains the decadence of those hot and tots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here. <laughs> In her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? <laughs> Why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Maybe <laughs> she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. The nerve on you. That's it. Whoa, oh, come on, Mildred. Arthur's this loving no this. Look at him. Look at his face. You filthy little man. Oh, oh. Come on, horse. We're leaving. Hey, I'm coming after you, Frenchie. Hey. All right. Oh, we're on the fire. Oh. I'm trying. The top hat is a bit stronger than he looks. Okay, music on. That's the most dramatic. The most That's the most dramatic fall I've ever seen. Why did the guy you was fighting run off? Oh, I'm getting combos. Fuck me, like, how, how is everyone able to fight, mate? You know, this guy's fucking headbutting me in the face. Who the fuck is he? Oh, are you kidding? No, I can't even whip out a gun. Oh, come on, don't fucking lose this guy, Arthur, please. Why is there a floating bag behind him? Oh, I'm going to die. I'm going to die by this guy. He fucking nutted me. Kill, killed who the hell is he? Killed me with a headbutt, mate. This is the pet damage overhaul, right? It gives everyone random, like, strength and um, melee ability and health and stuff. Oh, shit, was not ready for that. That's it. That's it. You hold him, I hit him. No? I can't. Okay, we're swapped. Oh! No, 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 two on one. That's not fair. Oh no, he's running out. Okay, just the one guy to deal with this time. Okay. We hit each other at the same time. Okay, I forget you can do that, right? You can hold on to them. I won't do them, that'll be bad. Oh no. Let's get out of here. I'm coming. Come on. I know a place where I can disappear for a few days. This way, this way. Come on. I think we are okay. The exhibition. What can you say? It was not boring. <laughs> that it was not. Archutest people. Push them. I thought I was a fraud. A no talent brush washer. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases left punch holes through. I told you I was a whole ass! <laughs> you did, and you are. Now maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. Ah, here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now, seems like the only thing it'd get me is kicking the balls. Head bite oh, in the you face. Funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me. <laughs> you opened the door there. Okay, cool. Hello. Hello, sir. I feel like maybe there is another one with him. I think. I was thinking over, I think that Mary Linton mission was the last one we have of her. I don't remember there being another one, actually. I think I remember her giving her her bags was the first time we met her, right? When we put on a train. I, th I think that was the last time we met her for that mission. It would make sense as well. It was kind of like a good boy, right? 
Oh, Arthur, please come with me. I will when I get money. I have a plan. Whoa, oh, there's so many. It's a fucking alligator island. <laughs> Sorry, Bill. There's like a pirate sword here. Relax. It's okay. Most of them are babies. Most of them are babies. Most of them are babies. Okay, chill. Chill. Please don't run off and leave me here, okay? I'm hitching you up. I will protect you, don't worry. They seem mostly docile when they're on land. When they're in water? Don't run off, please. Please don't run off. Oh, but I'm just... One sec. One sec. Just grabbing this. Okay. Broken pirate sword. What does that come under? It's fucking big, isn't it? That doesn't do much damage, though, does it? I guess it's because it's broken. Maybe I'll be off using the hatch here, right? Pretty cool, though. Where the hell did I store that? <laughs> okay, Bill, let's go before we get eaten. Okay, straight over. Straight over, Bill. Straight over. Don't slow. Okay. Don't slow. Don't buck me off. Keep going. Keep going. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. It's okay. Nice. Easy. Whoa. I don't know what this is. It says there's something here. Is it this man? Inspect. Why am I inspecting this? Why is this a point of interest, mate? Oh, he's got like a small hand. Okay. What? So? So what? Somebody across the corpse in the swamp. Poor guy had a withered arm. Why is this a thing? Oh. Uh... Is he a relative of Archibald? Right? There was a mission, wasn't there? A member. A member guy. It's my small hand. Is it the same guy? It might be, right? The American distillation mission where we got moonshine from the brave rates. He talked about uh, having an uncle or something, right? He had a withered arm or hand. It would make sense, right? Otherwise, what's the point in having it? Okay, I think Strauss has like some debtors that he wants me to get. Who the hell was that? It just disappeared. Is that Pearson? Strauss? Mr. Morgan. Howdy. Hello? Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti? I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? Oh. One second. This is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algie Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. We are a union built on that, you know. Yeah. Okay. Catfish Jackson, why does that ring a bell? I've already been here. Who's ha- uh, Is this the f the father and son who I busted into their house and blew off the dad's head with a sword-off shotgun? Is it this house? Yeah. If so, it might be pretty hard to collect the debt. Maybe some new family has moved in, right? There was only one house there, right? Catfish Jackson is not like a village, is it? Which is a bit of a concern. This is the same place. They're dead. Well, the dad is. I killed the dad. Hello? Is his body still like laying on the floor? No? Okay, maybe the son like buried him. Is he still here or did he move in with his mum? You got any new loot in here, have you? I did take everything before. Oh, yeah, there is some. Oh, there's a dead. Wow. You know, I think. There's meant to be an interaction between them, but because I did kill the guy, it's just that. That's strange. I've never done that before, right? The thing is, even if it was the amount of money there, there's no one here, right? Why would they just leave it? Like, if the son took off to go to his mum's, he would have taken that, right? He's not here. It's really weird. I think, normally, they're, like, fishing, right? Down by the water? That's when you talk to them. And then that's why I recognise 
who he was. It's from this mission. He goes, oh yeah, it's Not under my kitchen war. sink. And he goes to get it and then stabs you with a knife, right? He's normally sitting down here, I think. Or one of them was. Okay, but I guess they're then. just both not here now, right? Because he's dead. Yep. That's good, though. It does that, right? It doesn't just respawn them. Some games would just, like, respawn. That's what happened in Kingdom Come, right? I killed that, like, old couple in that farm. And then I came back to do a mission. And I had to ask them where some bandit camp was, right? And they were dead. Is this the sun? Uh, you. Mister, excuse me. Good to see Manners ain't dead yet. Yeah, no, it's not. That's not him. He's white. They were black, weren't they? Okay, let's return to Strauss with the money. That was easy, wasn't it? Yeah. I wish they were all as easy as that. Well, I say that, it's because I already killed him. There we go. Wasn't the blues. We were storing powder here. Someone dropped the loot and that was that. What the fuck is this? They weren't the traders? I think these are the moines. If they had powder there, they hadn't been no war. And that feller wouldn't have dropped his match. Hate that scum. They ruin everything. Yeah, they are the moines. Anyone comes sightseeing, they get them a more and welcome. It's not dead. God damn! Well, that's silent work, didn't it? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I don't know why I bother. I just go straight in loud straight away, shouldn't I? This is not a good um, cover. I see you. Worms will have you, boy. Man, this is our last stand. Damn it. Poke your head back up. Nah, that's good enough. Okay. <laughs> this is the church, right? He was dead, right? Is he still up? It's the problem with the bleeding out. Is that sometimes it doesn't tell you when it's a killing shot, right? So you can't tell if it is one that's going to cause a bleed out or not. So I'm not sure that guy with the arrow, right? I thought he was dead, but he wasn't. You still up? I think he's upstairs. Yeah, it sounds like it's bleeding out. Okay. Let's loot. See if there's anything interesting here. $60. Okay, cool. There's a bit more as well, though. Yeah, there's quite a few lockboxes here. Platinum earrings. Jewelry is all right. Poppy watch. But I'm pretty sure there's a large jewelry bag as well, though, somewhere. And that's like $100, right? So I definitely want that. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, three separate lockboxes. Got them all. Okay, cool. It's like a gold cross in here. I should be able to take that. How you boys keeping? My lord. Been quite a ride since Blackwater. Since that thing on the boat? You boys know all about that. At least, you know enough. I'm still trying to forget. Got my wings clipped there, then nearly got eaten by a pack of wolves. Maybe I should learn my lesson. Just hope Dutch has learned his. I wouldn't count on that. I love Dutch. Y'all know that. But we're bad men. Yep. We're fighters, I know. But sometimes I start thinking about that girl. Which one? Well, Javier knows what we saw, and it weren't pretty. Ask Micah. Although he encouraged it. Weren't pretty at all. I just hope Dutch was right when he said that we had to do it to survive. 
Sometimes you just gotta do really bad things, I guess. Oh, hey, Arthur. Remember the old days when we used to go around giving away the money we'd rob? Yeah. Guess that just kind of stopped at some point. Sure did. Okay, give debts. That was all $24. Wow. People are like dying for like $24, man. I'm sitting here with like 3k. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have a little piss outside. I was going to do it inside, but I probably shouldn't. Shouldn't piss where you sleep, right? And then I think we can do a mission for Mary Beth, I think. Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well, I think. It's been quite a run we've had, but... But we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets? Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? I heard you ran into that Mary girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? Got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. Or I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. Where are we heading? I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. So she does care, really. She's just an old battle axe, right? All right. Head for Rhodes. And quick. She's in Rhodes? No. She's at a place called Bradley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. And now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. <sighs> Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But, like I say, she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right after that. I just hope we can get to her in time. It's not too far. If they've touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. Some just require a firmer hand than others. You were special. Well, thank you. I swear, half of you would just rot in your own filth if nobody kept you in check. Anyway, talking of folks disappearing, have you seen that boy Kieran since the party for Jack? Uh-oh. Okay, I think that's the place up ahead. Wait, wait, wait. Don't leave that lion just on there. Oh, no. Kieran has gone. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Okay, won't be taking him out for a drink anytime soon. Whoa. Kind sir, we're lost and in need of some help. Oh, get out of here! Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here! Oh, now you keep saying that, but you don't mean nothing by well, it. I said. You said your last word. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and find our girl. Okay, I'm good. I'll take Okay, door is locked. Kick it down. No need for subtlety. Is 
Is it this room or the one next to it? One next to it. Kick. Oh, it's so satisfying blowing people's heads off. Hello, how are you? It's okay, Miss Tilly. Now, let's get you out of here. Hold up. I thought there was. I... It don't matter what you thought, it's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, Miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of them, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on. Tilly, grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that <sighs> bastard. Take your Miss Grimshaw with us. The one in front's the boss. Bring him back alive. I ain't done with them yet. All right. Get after them. Fucking jeweling the knife. What am I doing? Why am I just carrying a knife like that? F fucking hell. <laughs> Where? Okay, we've got one close up. I've never done this at night before when it's all misty. Jesus Christ, I can't see anything. I'm gonna hit a tree. Okay. Oh, you're gonna pay! One down. You got it. Yep, thank you. Oh, there they are by the shore. Is there any reason for you being here? In all honesty, do I need you? Okay. Yeah. God damn. Oh, hurry. We're going to lose them. I'm sorry, it's like our visibility is at a fucking like 20%. Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh, look at these cowards. All right. I think that last one's the boss. Lasso him and we'll take him back to Tilly. Okay. Go on. Rope that bastard. Don't kill him yet. I want Tilly to have the last word on this bastard. Are you just here for commentary? Emotional support? Come on, loner horse. Nearly there. Not quite sure I didn't get on Billy. He was right outside. You ran over a deer, you bastard. Now make sure you time up real good. Yes, thank you. I know how to do it. It's not my first time. Make these nice and tight. All right, you bring that bastard back to Tilly so we can all have a nice little chat. I'm gonna head over there now to check she's okay. You should have stayed with her. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, I missed. Just wanted to throw you in the mud. <laughs> God, this horse is quite cool, isn't it? A Dalmatian. A Palouse. This is a nice horse, I like this. Do you have the first idea what you're getting into? I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Fucking Ronnie Pickering. Hey, Foreman with an A. <laughs> I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, this rope is cutting into me. Don't feel so good when you're the one tied up, does it? She killed my goddamn cousin. Oh, don't worry. You'll be seeing him soon enough. What are you gonna do with me? I ain't sure yet. Reckon I'll let Tilly decide what you deserve. You're wasting your time with that girl. She's a liar. She'll screw you over like she did me. I should have shot the bitch yesterday like I said I would. You just shut your mouth now, Anthony. I've heard enough. Son of a bitch. Man, I really, really like this horse. Like, seriously like it. Can I keep it? But, like, not use it? Like, I can't just get rid of Billy. Like, the emotional attachment to him outweighs the prettiness of this horse, you know? All right. Here's your man. Bring him here. Dump him on the ground here. I want to get a good look at this monster. But I may just stable this horse. I really like it. So he's still alive then? Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, 
Revenge is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. No, I am Go a Tilly on. simp. I will do what she says. Finish the bastard off. All right, you. Come on. Let's get you home. I, I like Tilly. <laughs> now get out of here. She's the best, like, female in the camp. In my mind. Okay, can I? I so said this does count as my second horse. So I'm going to stable you. And uh, not use you though. So I can't, right? My. Oh, it's so tempting to ditch Billy, but how can I? How can I ditch him? I can't. I, can, I really like this horse. So you're going to become my backup horse, I guess. Like, I don't even know who you are, horse, you know? You're not a Billy. 